Sugar baby, Sugar baby. nice whip, nice crib. Nice I want crib. this, I want I that. Want he that. give it to me. Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you can be updated on all my new uploads because honey, you know, in the sugar baby lifestyle, shit is always popping. Now, as you can see from the title, honey, it is a good day. I got a new car. <laughs> I'm going to upload some pictures and videos of my new car right now, honey. Yes, honey, paid off, in cash, no note, don't gotta go get my registration, inspection, all that is taken care of, honey. I paid for it myself in full. The title is in my name. I paid for it with my sugar baby money, honey, and I'm so excited. I finally got everything falling into place. And aside from that, today is just a normal day. It's very gloomy out here in Dallas, Texas, as you can see, honey. But I gotta go run a few errands. I have a webinar at seven, and I'm also gonna talk to y'all. We're gonna have a little chit chat, honey, because we gotta talk about this BBL that I, more than likely, I will in the future, but right now I'm not interested in getting, only because my butt got really big during the time of me gaining weight. And then, from my accident, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go check out my previous video. I had got shot at, etc. A whole bunch of shenanigans, shenanigans happened, and I wrecked my Camaro, which is why I had to get a new car. And from that, I don't know. I just like I lost a little weight, but I gained weight in my my butt, but my stomach looks great. Like my body's banging right now, so I just don't see any point of touching it. Instead, I'm gonna open up my own spa. I just got my car. And we got a lot we got to talk about. So let me go ahead and get these errands, you know, going. Go ahead and get this day started. It's already three. I've already done my stuff, most of my stuff for the day. But I forgot that I have to go to Dollar Tree and a whole bunch of other things. But let's go ahead and go, honey. Honey, I'm headed to Dollar Tree real quick. And then I got to go drop off this order. I don't know how I forgot this order. I found it in my trunk. I guess I forgot to drop it off or something like that. So that's what I'm about to go do real quick. Drop this off back and i had a webinar today but the lady has not responded to me so i guess I, i'm hoping she comes um that because i really don't like i don't get refunds but i don't like it when somebody does not show up and you know they don't get their money's worth so i hope she comes that way i don't have to deal with you know the negative if she doesn't but you know everybody already knows if they don't show up that there's a 50 dollars rescheduled fee so that's that but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go to Dollar Tree Girl, give me some toilet paper and some wipes. Yes, you know, balling on a budget, honey. Let's go. So I just left Dollar Tree. I didn't really get too much. I just got some dryer sheets. I got some of these wipes. I really, really love these wipes. They smell really good. I got four of them. And then I got toys for my dogs i got a ball and this toy which cairo cairo heel like that and then i went and got me some napkins and some toilet paper I, yeah just napkins and toilet paper i didn't really get much so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and go to the usps office and drop off this order and i will talk to y'all soon honey <laughs> All right, y'all, so before I finish the rest of this vlog and give y'all the rest of this tea, I want to give a quick shout out to SugarDaddyMeat.com, and I also want to thank them for sponsoring this video. Sugar Daddy Meat is an amazing website where you can go meet sugar daddies, professional, high class, and very generous, honey. And hopefully when you go sign up, you'll find a sugar daddy to bless you like me. Now, Sugar Daddy Meat is easy to use. It's convenient. 
And also the best thing about it is they're low on scammers, time wasters, and people who are going to waste your time. Don't forget to go sign up. The information is gonna be in the description box. And when you sign up, don't forget to let them know that Malaysia sent you. All right, honey, so let's go ahead and get into the rest of this tea because I know y'all want to know what's going on. Now, there's nothing serious really going on in my life right now. Hold on, honey, let me take a little puff. That was like weak. I need to get a new one. I think it's broken. <laughs> like for real. But anyways, nothing bad is going on. Honestly, the reason why I did not go to get a BBL is because I just got back walking and my foot is still kind of sore. So I just felt like it would be too much pressure and it would just be too much complications. Having a BBL, healing up, and then still be limping around, I just feel like it wouldn't go hand in hand. And I'm just not pressed. I gained some weight and it went all to my butt and my butt looks amazing. My body is banging. If you haven't seen my body, definitely go check out my Instagram. I look amazing right now. And I'm just not pressed to touch my body. Like I have boobs, I have butt, I have a nice belly. I'm physically, my physical attributes are really good. So I'm just not pressed right now. And then not even really just that, it was a lot of cons going out, going on. As far as, you know, it being holiday season, a lot of the people that I would really want to be with me would not be able to be there because they're with their families. And then I would be healing over the holidays. And it just, I, I didn't want to be an inconvenience to my friends. And I also didn't want to rush into something, you know, with my accident. If you don't know about the accident I'm talking about, definitely go check out my vlog from where I got shot at, etc. <laughs> you know, a lot of things happen, but, you know, anyways, I had lost a little bit of weight in my midsection. And so I don't even really have that much fat right now. So that, along with my foot just healing up, along with it being holiday season, I was just like, no. So I just decided to go ahead and give me a car and start investing towards my spa business. And I mean, it's not really like, I'm just not pressed and I'm not disappointed, I'm not sad about it. You know, I, it's, I can go get a BBL whenever I want to and it's just not a big deal. I've literally never, I've never had somebody sit there and tell me you have no butt or make fun of my butt or just anything. So just everything together, I was just like, it's not even that serious. But other than that, life is really great right now. My business is flourishing. Go check out my lightning agent that I just came out with for your Punani area. It is very effective. I've been using it myself for two to three weeks now, and you can notice a huge difference in my Punani area. My The agent that I have is $15 for a two ounce, and um, that's really good pricing because it's really effective. And I know some people that have lightning agents that go for like $50, and you can definitely check out my results on my website. I can't post the pictures here. Well, they're posted in my community section, but I can't post them in this video because I don't want my video to get demonetized. But um, yeah, it's very effective. Definitely go check that out if you're having darkness in your Punani area. And um, yeah, other than that, I've been working on new products, professionalizing my businesses and getting them more sophisticated and things like that. And you know, I've been dating a little bit as well and you know, just just upgrading my whole life and trying to be a boss and, and you know, just continue becoming a better woman. Um, and, yeah, I mean, life is good. It's, you know, I still cannot believe I bought me a car. Like, it's kind of like I love my car. When I was in it, I was just like, wow, I really deserve that car. Like, everything's been good from my car to my business to dating you know everything's just been falling into place and going really good and my dogs are healthy i love them i'm about to take them out you can hear them wrestling in the back right now but yeah that's all that i have going on i don't really have much to talk to y'all about you know she's ready to go outside right now um i also want to let's cheers i also want to make a little comment to the bums that have the nerve to try to get on me for going to the liquor store, coming out, getting in my car, and taking a sip of my liquor in my car as if I'm sitting there chugging the bottle as I'm driving. You feel me? I feel like bums literally will take a 40 minute video of a woman doing nothing but positive things, find one little thing that they could turn negative, like that they could turn it into a negative situation, and try to and try to make that little negative situation 
and project it onto that person and make that person into just a bad person. And it's just, it's pathetic. It doesn't really annoy or bother me. It's just hilarious. And it's like, it makes me wonder how lame can you really be? And I'm going to take another sip when I drive tomorrow to Walmart just to piss those people off. Because like, I don't care what y'all have to say. I'm clearly not drunk and driving. I'm clearly just sipping. I'm grown. I'm 26 years old. If you don't like it, get the off my page, okay? I'm not changing or doing, I'm not changing anything about myself to suit bum, bum ass people's insecurities, okay? Don't worry about me. Clearly I'm doing good. Clearly I'm doing better than anybody that wants to talk shit about me. So pipe down. Cheers to that. Don't play with me. I just sip. I need to be getting drunk. I don't even know where I'd be sipping. I'd be bored. Mind your business. But anyways, that's the conclusion to this vlog. I'm going to go ahead and chunk up the deuces. I got a lot of orders to work on. I'm about to take my dogs out. Probably take a little shower, get cleaned up, or give me something to eat. I don't know, honey. I'm going to do something with my life. But yeah you know how it goes honey and don't forget scare feet don't eat and a closed mouth don't get fed mm -hmm.